Hi, this is John Willoughby with the last section in the series on getting started with jQuery and Kendo UI. We've finished our cryptocurrency dashboard app, and the only thing left to do is to customize the style of our dashboard. Up until this point, we've included style sheets of predefined themes. We want to change the theme of our dashboard so that it has a unique branding. We could create another style sheet and redefine the classes we want to override. However, that would be boring because there are several widgets we'd have to style one by one. A simpler solution is to use the Kendo UI Theme Builder to create a custom theme. For our project, we'll be using the SAS Theme Builder to create a custom theme. And this is super easy to get to. The URL is just themebuilder.telerik.com. You might have been expecting themebuilder.progress.com. Kendo UI was originally developed by the Telerik company before it was purchased by Progress several years ago. And you'll still see the Telerik domain in places. Note that the themes are slightly different depending on which version of Kendo UI you're using, or in other words, which framework you're working with. We're working with Kendo UI for jQuery, which is listed here just as Kendo UI with no framework specified. This theme builder gives you the option to use a base theme or to import your own theme. If you've created a theme before with theme builder, you can import a theme by including the SAS file that was generated in your previous download. If you're creating a new theme, it's best to start with a base theme. We'll choose the option to use a base theme. The base themes we can pick from include the Kendo UI default theme, Bootstrap 4, and Material. We're going to choose Bootstrap as our base and click on the Create button. On the left-hand side of the app, there's a list of options you can configure by entering the color code or by choosing a color from a color picker. The options you can set are theme, page, component, and chart colors. There's also a panel that can be expanded that shows predefined color swatches that you can choose from. To the right is a demo of the components. One of the benefits of using the Theme Builder to create a theme is that you can preview what the results will look like. Selecting a color swatch or changing one of the values in your color input will update the appearance of the components immediately. For example, if we change the background color using the color picker, we'll see what it looks like on the page of examples. And note that these are real live working instances of each component. OK, let's change the background color back to white, which is all Fs. For our app, we'll just be changing the primary and secondary colors listed under theme colors. The primary color is our brand color, and we'll use a bright orange for this and enter the color code. The secondary color is an accent color that's used to style components like buttons and selection controls. We'll use a dark blue color for this and enter the color code. Next. We'll click on the download button in the upper right hand corner to get our style sheet. You'll be prompted to give it a name. We're going to get really creative here now and call it new. And this is used to name the download folder and to name the theme that we've just created. Now let's go back to our app. So this is what it looks like now. And let's go back to the code and swap out the default CSS file for our new CSS file. And this is what we get. Now suppose we come back later to our dashboard and we want to make more changes to the theme. And that's OK. We can use the SAS file that came with our download and import it into the Theme Builder. Going back to the Theme Builder homepage, we select the Import option this time, then click the Select Files button to upload the file. The SAS file will be named variables.scss. It includes the variables defining all of our theme colors. There's a SAS variable for each of the theme options listed in the Theme Builder. We didn't do anything too exciting in our sample theme, but you can see that we've loaded the primary and secondary colors, which are now set to the orange and blue that we originally selected. And that's it. We defined our requirements, designed the layout for our app, coded the components, and set a custom theme for it. You can find a link to the completed code in the notes for this video. So now you're all set to go out and make a fortune trading cryptocurrencies. I'll see you on the beach.